Hello everybody, this is me Martel. Alright. It's funny y'all listen to some on YouTube on um, worship, you know what I'm saying? Worship other people and all that which I just say. Uh speaking on that, this is a controversial video I wanna do with something that's totally different. What happens if you don't have teachers and masters? I wanna follow up on that. Like it's kinda of funny, like this will be a negative quotation, basically the same. Uh, sorry, I'm at Panora Bread because they shut down the uh, mall, so through the incidents and stuff, I'm going to post it. So, if y'all had seen uh, this baffling, man. The media is out, the police is out, Jesus Christ. But that's any press is better than no press, they say. Good, bad, and otherwise. And rest in peace to my neighbor that uh, passed away, the, that, uh, the elderly gentleman passed away today. And they have to carry his body, so I was going to say that. Yeah, what if you didn't have proper guidance or teachers growing up in your life? You know what I'm saying? Like, in J Japan, basically, a sensei, a teacher, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of the teachers uh, come across my life are jerks. I'm just going to be real. Not come off no negative remarks, anything. But in all truthfulness, you know what I'm saying? And it made me feel like I'm left out. It's actually all right. I just talked to a brother. And thank you for um, doing this great music with me, this uh, new brother named uh, Magic Wong. We actually had some history uh, back in uh, another producer named Frank Wright Studio. Now, what up, Frank? What up, Magic Wong? We were talking about, which is ironically, like, say, for example, like Michael Jackson, you know, they had to the, have family support, you know what I'm saying? They had, even though he was harsh, but, you know, he kept them, he kept Jackson's family together, you know, him and his. Um, May he rest in peace. Uh, Joe Jackson, may he rest in peace. Uh, Care, I don't know how to pronounce her name, I'm sorry. Mrs. Jackson. I actually want to say, I just found out years ago that uh, Miss, Mrs. Um, Latoria Jackson, I didn't even know that she liked my videos it was way back in like over 10 years ago, so um, I did not know she was interested uh, in my kind of content, you know what I'm saying? So I'm on it. If it's real or not, if not, my bad. Um, to the Jackson family, thank you. This is something I actually was kind of envious and jealous. I admit this out. I didn't have guidance or proper teachers or anything that actually believed in me, encouraged me, pushed me, trained me to be an artist, you know what I'm saying? And it, it, it pains me to say this because it comes off as like probably like, I don't know, discontentful or something. Discontent, anything, anyways. Uh, I'm just morally like I'm wild like how Jackson just they lived, they breathed, they struggled. I was like, you know, I could you know I feel like I wanna be one of the part of Jackson Five. You know, but unfortunately my dad, my 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 parents were disabled, so they were just struggling themselves. And I was the only child so I didn't have uh outside of my cousin, shout out to K Bridge, whatever bro. Um we been grew up together, it's like we we had to like we had to figure out the hard way, the hard grind. This is like the internet in its infancy, you know. So this is like back in the day, kind of said like 2004. Then I was songwriting. I was going so hard. I was going for some harsh times. I lost my mother prior to 20 years ago on two, April 13, 2003. Um, my mother's uh, name is Carla. I did not know, to be honest with you, when I look up the word Carla, um, it's actually uh, Latin, so I could be wrong, though, but it sounds interesting. And that's something I want to go back on. What if you didn't have teachers, guidance, parents, or guide, guide, um, guardians, guardians to believe and to support you, encourage your dreams, you know? Now imagine disabled, troubled background. Black man, you know what I'm saying? I don't look for Charles Trump, so you follow me, y'all. But, um, it's about the contrary, though. Put my glasses up. It's time to hurt. Sorry, y'all. Yeah. Especially starting with uh, me and my cousin. He's always been known to be an uh, incredible, funny battle rapper, funny freestyle, and all that. It was, it's interesting because, for point of reference, as far as me recording songs, 
the like Will Smith, uh, Tupac, Nas, Notorious B.I.G. Hello, be safe. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and it's like shocking that now looking back in my life, you know, I had to figure out things the hard way, old fashioned way. Things, you know, being the only child was always into something. You know what I'm saying? Being a kid, being a kid, you know. And I realized after I finally, I was talking to Master One, but you know, I didn't have nobody didn't teach me to be a rapper. Nobody didn't teach me to be a singer. Nobody didn't teach me how to be a recording artist. And I had to learn that the hard way. And I was going back putting this, um, like a near unreleased uh, called Determined to Be Sun Greater Than Ourselves with an H. After the O, ourselves, uh, like, how, like the hour, you know what I'm saying? I always want to be called Greater Than Be Our Greater, Determined to Be Sun Greater, you know, but I want to add something to it, make it more impactful. Have a nice one. You're welcome. Be safe. Thank you. There's a lot of danger going on. Sorry to bother you. Oh, it's okay. It's not your fault. Just try to be mindful of the people and all that. Yeah. And we're back to the video here. You know, you know that's what I struggle with eternally. It's like, I just want to say something that's kind of crazy to me, brother. Um, you're saying, be glad you didn't have those harsh trains and all that. That's the thing, you know what I'm saying? And it saddens me that a lot of kids and parents, this might sound ageist, ageism and all that, and I give that, yeah, I hate to say this, but sadness in my heart, but I was treated like, I may be able to straight garbage by older people, you know what I'm saying, way older people, like in their 50s, 60s, and 70s, you know what I'm saying, so it's like three generations after me, it's like, I can't relate to the people that's born in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. I, I was born in 89, so of course I'm, I'm a 90, I'm an 80s baby. I'm a 90s kid. In 2010, 2010 adult, and 2020 adult. I'm surprised I lived for 40, 34 years to this mess, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of funny looking back at the Michael Jackson and Jackson family. You know why I got inspired by that? Because they struggle hard, you know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, for poverty, crime rate, Game banging. That's something I, I did not know. They grew up well, you know, gangs and stuff. That's actually kind of silent shit, even for me. Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> I can't help out looking at a cute chick. But, anyways, though, on a respectful note, it's like, it's just morally baffling. You know. I'll just send the pictures for y'all, but um, on a contrary, it's just like shocking to me, you know. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is that? Hold on. Excuse me, you heard that sound right now? You heard that sound? I don't know what it is. What's going on? Y'all hear that too? Yeah, those are our machines for our drinks, our bubblers. Oh, okay. I ain't know what the fuck. I thought it was some type of attack going on. Like, oh, Jesus Christ. Hello. Pretty good. Anyways, I'm sorry. I thought that was some type of alarm going on. Like, oh, Jesus Christ. That was scary. Yeah, it's so on the contrary, though. Back up, I just lost my train of thought. About not having masters, teachers. There was a golden brother that she shared something that's pretty profound. You is a Roman. Who is a Roman? Which he translate from um, Japanese saying that you're a master of the samurai, you're a nomad, you know, I've always been a nomad. For circumstances I have no control of, you know, a lot of disloyalty, a lot of backstabbing, a lot of distrust, you know, so it's hard to trust people, you know what I'm saying, especially in the music business, it's easy to be around, I don't want to generalize or stereotype my own people, it's easy to be around negativity. I understand negativity sales, but I've been part of record, and that's something that kind of irks me and pains me to say that, you know, in order to be in a record, you gotta, unfortunately, you gotta force to conform, you know, and I was forced to perform on a lot of factors, too, so I'm just watching my surroundings, yeah, this is getting dangerous, you know, I was like, I'm planning to go home the next hour, so, um, yeah, 
I'm glad to do a video. You actually get to see me, so give me a shave sometime this week and next week. I had to give me a haircut. I was just because I have my hair falling out. Um, and gray and all that. Sorry, but I know that I can't control that. Yeah, so on the contrary, though, it's like, it's so good to do this, you know. But anyway, back to the same math. We'd have an interesting conversation about, you know, if you had the right kind of teachers to teach you to be an artist, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, now you got videos, you got, you got blogs, you got vlogs, you got social media to help you, you know, help the young generation. The young generation today and after me, y'all got a good, I ain't like back in the day. This is like back in my space era. So, you know, I'm <laughs> kind of showing my age. My space is still popping before Facebook took over, social media took over. Um, yeah, so and I was I, mean, I was very tech literary still kind of him. Because remember, the cell phones didn't come out, so we had to use, you know, camcorders and stuff, voice recorders and stuff. And a lot of the quality was not that good or not HD anything. I'm glad I say most as I can't get lost. Unfortunately, a lot, a lot of it got lost in the house fire and flood. So, what we got left, hopefully, we can make uh, series and documentaries of our memories and all that. And that's what I was saying. Like, not to have a master, not to have a teacher, not to have a sensei that believes in the students, that believes in the people, you know. And it's kind of like a double edged sword because, yeah, I have to learn the hard pain, grit, grind. It was a whole different time, y'all. <laughs> That's just right. You know, I'm also a songwriter too. It's funny that putting all this music in, like, I feel like a proud accomplishment. This, I wish it was in a better circumstances, better environment. You know what I'm saying? But I have to make what I do. You know, is make music, make content. Uh, I'm actually trying to start thinking in the future, start thinking, start my own record label so I can promote my own music and my own. Um, private unionized um, or, uh, media organization which uh, I was actually technically because I called school twice or so but then I went to Orange Community College and they just scammed me they didn't want to help me anything so I was left with a foul like roughly under two thousand dollars of debt being taught you know saying so taught me everything you know yeah and trying to manage all that stress is just yeah, sorry, I'm rambling. So I just want to say, if you got good parents, you got good guardians, you got good communities that support you, appreciate that. Because a lot of people don't have that. And I was one of them, you know. Besides my parents, you know what I'm saying? My parents was all right, but I wasn't taught about learning my culture. Even though as I try to be careful not come off sound like I'm, you know, not essentially brown nose and kissing up to people. I had to look up to other minorities and cultures. They have culture. They have class. You know what I'm saying? And it saddens me to say that, like, I'm about to have to play this negative stereotype about my own people, because I'm also in the music business, so I, I've been in this. It's all nothing but, like, promoting, you know, destruction. It's there, you know what I'm saying? Corruption of the youth and all that. Oh, negativity sells, Martel. People don't, you know, he told me in the studios all the time, I hate to say this, this will be negative. Negativity sells, Martel. You know, if we talk about peace and prosperity and uplifting the people and all that, people ain't gonna buy that. So, of course, people are forced to either dumb down the sales or even worse, forced to sell out, you know. Now, from a whole different perspective, my 30s is a whole different than in my 20s. In my 20s, I probably said, man, screw all that. I'm proud of being me and all that. Like, you, you even though I was getting a lot of thick, I was. Oh my god. Oh, police is out? Jesus Christ, I ain't playing tonight. <laughs> this is still like terrorism all of a sudden. Like, mall shutting down, things shutting down. So I'm glad to be here. Oh, on the contrary, I'm sorry I'm off track. You know, I'm just rambling right now to get this off my chest. Like, not to have a master teacher and guidance, believe me, is really awful, you know. And I hate to say the American public school system straight trash. I'm just going to say it's what it is. They've taught me the negatives. 
which is ironic. I bit his neck in it. I'm a, you know, I'm a free thinker, not a formless, free spirit kind of guy, you know. But I feel like even I was forced to perform, forced to sell out. So I don't really, really knock young people. A lot of them are lost. A lot of young men and women are lost. A lot, especially kids, you know. So that do music. They, I hate to say this. It sound it might accidentally curse myself. But it's like, oh, um, I worry having kids nowadays because I don't want my kids to suffer what me and my lady go through. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people with disabilities and autism and mental health and all that. You know what I'm saying? And it pains me to say that. It pains me. You feel like you have to fulfill a stereotype that you're a buck dancing buffoon or you're an idiot, you know what I'm saying, or you're a criminal think it's cool, or a degenerate, you know, something. trying to play PG-13 now, you know, because YouTube censorships are so strict nowadays. You uh, know, I don't knock why young kids, young people are forced to sell. I don't knock the hate. Whatever way you can make a dollar, you know what I'm saying, legal to illegal, just be safe, you know what I'm saying? Just know there's consequences for everything, you know. And there's also a reward for everything you can Everything you say and do, you know what I'm saying? Everything literally on social media is forever, you know, so. Yeah, like, and I feel for the kids of, of the youth of today, like, I, I'm kind of glad in hindsight, though, that I'm kind of glad to, like, kind of cleaning my material, so my music and my videos and stuff like that, not because I'm trying to be kid-friendly. It's literally being forced upon me, you know, forced upon us all. So I'm so glad I got my website so I can be who I really want to be, you know. That I'm work. Um, everybody taking a break, and I just got my rent increased by a hundred dollars. Just doing some weird penalty on my um, some mishap with the landlord. So, so I forced it. To, uh, I got to pay almost like seven hundred and thirty-one dollars a month. Six months. Jesus Christ. <sighs> so I'm already stressed. Anyways, I won't hold you up for too long, Martin. Zephy out. Later.